Hi, I'm Andrew Gebhardt for CNET. Today I'm taking a look at the Frigidaire FPBC2277RF. This is a 22.6 cubic feet French door refrigerator. It's counter depth and it's part of Frigidaire's professional line of appliances. It's 3,500 bucks, so it's pretty expensive. And this has a lot to do to justify the lofty price tag, especially since it's $900 more than the comparable Frigidaire gallery we've already reviewed. And here's the thing, it's actually really similar to that gallery. Take a look at the interior of the Frigidaire Professional. Now take a look at the interior of the gallery. 900 bucks more, and I have a lot of trouble telling them apart. It includes a lot of the same features, the folding shelf I really like, the flip-up shelf. It even has the same smudge-proof stainless exterior. But you're paying 900 extra bucks, and basically you get these different looking handles, a little bit of a different display, and controls on this inner LCD panel here. That's it. And here's the kicker. The Frigidaire Gallery was $2,600, and we didn't think it was worth that. This one's 35, so the math really doesn't add up. The Pro does improve on the gallery's performance, but slightly. And the middle shelf and the top shelf of the main body of the fridge still run warm. The FDA advises against keeping spoilable foods above 40 degrees. On the default setting of 37 degrees, that middle shelf and top shelf ran over 40. This is also counter depth. So it's designed to blend in, make it look almost like a much more expensive built-in fridge for a lot less. I'm not a big fan of the trend though. You're sacrificing space for style and paying more for it. So look, this isn't a bad fridge. The touch panel works well. The light is pleasant looking under the dispenser, but there's just nothing about it that instills me with a sense of enthusiasm. And for $3,500, there really, really should be. It does undercut the prices of the high-end models of the competition, but it also can't keep up. For more, please be sure to check out my full review on CNET.com. For CNET, I'm Andrew Gebhardt.